and we're going to pray about this Saturday night. I have in my hand million copy bestseller, newly revised and updated for age 10 and up. And the name of this book is It's Perfectly Normal. And this is a book that has changing bodies, growing up, sex, gender, and sexual health. Um, I cannot just open this book to you. For this book, which is for age 10 and up, what I have in my hand is pornography. The illustrations that are drawn in this book, the sexual positions, the sexual things that they are showing for kids 10 and up in this book, it would be a disrespect to this house and to you for me to open the pages and let you see the images that are in here. The things, it's, it's not even, it's not, it's not soft porn. It's hardcore. The only, the only thing that's different is it's drawn in cartoon style and the people performing the sex acts are children. For 10th grade and up. Now, now, you should thank God that there's a preacher in town somewhere who will bring this to your attention and uh, and we're going to pray because this is not only when I mentioned it to El Lamanchuku he said something to me that I thought was profound he just and, and I don't know if you remember what you said he uttered these words and it's not only there it's not only in the Connecticut school system it's in other systems. They are coming after our children. And, and you can't afford to be ignorant, to be in the dark. Amen. And we got to pray. And see, this is where the political components come in. Because there are people who say, well, what I don't like about Wooden and Upper Room is that they, they seem to be too political. Well, you got to find out who in uh, office agree with stuff like this and vote those devils out. Pray them out and vote them out. Because we're not loyal to a party, we're loyal to God. The name of this book is, it's perfectly normal. Please don't buy it. Please don't buy it. We don't want to make money for the devil. I just want you to know about it. Amen. What I have in my hand is, it, this ain't even soft porn. This is stone pornography. I can't even take the book and open it and flip you the pages and willy-nilly let you see the pictures in it. They're that bad. They show sex with men, with men, women with women, endorse transgenderism with all the explicit drawings showing kids in positions that I wouldn't even describe to this audience because it's designed to shatter, to destroy innocence. And see, sometimes you can destroy innocence by showing a picture and sometimes you can destroy innocence by describing it. So I'm not gonna do that. Once innocence is lost, it can't be regained. These people know that some things, once they've seen, they can't be unseen. And this book is for age 10 and up. These people aren't playing. They're not playing. It ain't just politics with them. They are dead serious. They want to corrupt every child. Father, we pray against this. God either save or kill these authors. 
God either save or kill. Everybody's got anything to do with this. Yes, save them or kill them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, because they're trying to destroy the innocence of children. Hitler went after children. Herod went after children. Pharaoh went after children. Nebuchadnezzar went after the children. God protect our children. In the name of Jesus, the innocence of our sons and our daughters. God, we come against this. We block this. We bind this. And we ask God our strength to help us. Oh, God. I don't care whether you're a Democrat, or Republican, or Independent. This is against us all. And this is the kind of stuff that our lieutenant governor was wailing about. And when people called him an idiot, and they call him crazy. Turns out he was right. Father, we pray against this. In Jesus' name, amen.